This is television for the Isles of Scilly, brought to you with worldwide financial planning, Truro and Penwith College, and the Scilly Lottery. From Radio Scilly, this is SillyTV.com. Council staff have been revealing plans for improvements to the Porthmelon Industrial Estate. Diana Monpoloki says the whole of the Porthmelon Estate will get a makeover. Porthmelon Indo- Innovation and Enterprise Centre, this has moved on quite significantly. We were looking to put a second floor on top of the building that the council bought earlier in the year. We're now looking at other sites on the industrial estate and we're negotiating with the RDA at present to get £500,000 so that we can redo the roads, sort some of the landscape and signage and a few other bits and pieces out on that road. And that would be done hopefully by the end of March next year. But that's in negotiation still and there's many a slip between cup and lip as the old saying goes. Diana says the plan is to make the road surface as hardy as possible. We are looking at complete revamping of the roads, ducting all throughout the industrial estate so that when we get the next generation access broadband, which is now a lot closer than it was a month ago, we would hope then... Sorry. Yeah. We'd hope then to be able to just push the fibre optics through the ducting so that we wouldn't have to dig the roads up again. And it would also involve other ducting so that if Western Power needed to put bigger power cables through, they would all be kept already incorporated under the road surface. And the road surface wouldn't be tarmac this time. It would be um, nine inch reinforced concrete, which would then last hopefully three or four generations within the industrial estate. Roadworks should begin around April next year. The building formerly known as Garden and Decor will not now have two storeys put in as part of a refurbishment as they change the use of the building to a business drop-in centre. Instead, council staff are trying to find other appropriate sites on the industrial estate. The plan is to create a business hub drop-in centre for small firms and individuals to use. Councillor Christine Saville wanted to know where the cash would come from to fund the promised free audiovisual conference calls for business people. Dana Monpoloki said the funding had been secured. That will be funded for the first four years out of the SIF development funding, which will be there for four years. I think after that we should have a new facility with a new charging policy and different revenue streams. And Diana says work is also happening on making things better at the Porthlow Slipway. Porthlow Slip, we're working with the Duchy on delivering the Porthlow Slip, which will be a 40 metre slip into the sea at Porthlow and tidying up the boat park and the adjacent areas, toilets, cleaning facilities, drainage, all of those kinds of things.